Hello and welcome to the day in the life of a mail carrier. I'm not worried about nothing, I'm just living my life. I'm not worried about nothing, taking it one day at a time. I'm not worried about nothing, no, 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 no. I'm free as a bird in a fire. Where do we get? <laughs> Thank you so much for stopping by today and kicking it with myself, Cami. Today I'm going to be talking about uh, my job as a mail carrier. So first I'm going to start off by just telling you what I did as a carrier. I don't think people really understood the job for real. Like every morning we came in, clocked in, and we would case up our mail. Whatever route you were doing for the day, you went to that case. The route from the beginning of the route to the end of the route was, is in order. We would have letters and then we would have magazines. We call them flats. And a flat is not just a magazine, but it might be a big envelope, something that wasn't the size of a regular letter and it couldn't go through the letter machine. And if you do the route all the time, you know exactly where it is in the case. Sometimes I wouldn't even look at the address. It goes by address, but I could look at the name and go, oh yeah, Miss Williams stays at this address. Put it in here. So once you're done casing up your flats and your letters, we would go get, we would call them our tub. Your tub is full of the packages that you're supposed to deliver that day. Some packages were big, some packages were small. The small ones we called spurs. I personally would case those up because they were small enough for me to carry them when I was out on the street. Once you cased it all up, get your spurs together, organize your packages, um, we would pull it, pull, you would pull your route, you call it pulling your route. In the case, each street was separated by like a red marker. So I would pull from this address to this address and that would be all the mail for that, what we call a swing or that loop. So you case it down, then you would rubber band it up, pull it down, rubber band it up, pull it down, rubber band it up, you know, so on and so forth. Once we cased up, get our DPS, we would head out to our vehicles, load our vehicles up, and then we headed out to the street. Okay, so once I um, roll my car out, I load my mail up. And what I do, these are my bundles, the stuff that you saw me casing up. I um, have that right here, and then this is my mail. When you see us, we have mail in our arms, and then we have a stack of mail in our hands. So that's why I have these two trays. Usually Tuesdays are our lightest days. So Monday is a super heavy day because they're still processing mail over the weekend. We're just not carrying it on Sundays. So usually we get lighter days on Tuesdays. So today this is not a lot of mail. I've actually had days where I've had like three trays of bundles and then maybe four trays of just regular mail. Like some it gets hectic. Then I have all my packages here. And what I do to remember my packages, I actually take a piece of paper and I write all my packages down. So when I get to a swing, I'm like, oh, okay, on this street I have this, I can drop it. If it's small enough, I'll carry it with me and just put it at the door as I deliver the mail. So yeah, that's kind of how I set up my truck. All right, and just to give you the explanation of the route that I'm doing today, um, basically this entire route is what we call a parking loop. So basically, I park somewhere on the street, I deliver the mail, and I end back at the vehicle. I do have a, maybe five businesses on this route. This is actually, this is about my favorite route. It's not a hilly route, pretty flat, no houses that have like 25 stairs up and then back down 25 stairs. Unfortunately, it's kind of wet and damp today um, hopefully it clears up either way you know, we filming so yeah all right so i just got done with my first loop and when i'm done usually you have no left over um and what i do when i finish my loop I go through my mail before I do my next loop. So when you see a carrier usually get in a car or his car after a loop and you're kind of flipping through mail, that's what they're doing. They're just kind of organizing and then they go to the next, they go to the next stop. Every time you get out your vehicle, get 
lock it up. I wonder what mail carriers do all day to entertain themselves. I personally, I either yak on the phone all day or I listen to crime stories. A consequence of me listening to crime stories though is I'm wary of everybody. If you look sketchy, more than likely you're not gonna get any mail from me. If it's too many people, too many dudes sitting on a porch, you're not getting mail from me. Yep. Okay, so this house, I won't deliver him today because he has a vacation hold in. So I'll take his mail back to the office. And people are like, how do you remember that? Um, at the case, we have like notes. And I have a pretty good memory, so I just knew, like, I didn't need to uh, bring it with me to remember. Yeah, so basically, all day long, I'm just going up to houses, dropping mail in boxes. It's pretty interesting existence. Oh, and this guy, this house right here, I have mail for him, but since I'm going to have to go back and drop his package, I'm not going to walk up his stairs, deliver his mail, come back, walk up the stairs again. So I'll just put his mail at the back of the bundle. And then when I drop his package, I also give him his mail then, you know. Like you don't wanna, we try to work um, smarter, not harder. So you don't wanna do double the work if you don't have to do double the work, so yeah. All right, and I told you about that house that I skipped because I had a package for him. I'ma go ahead and, um, deliver that package now. You have to take the scanner and scan every package and we hit delivered and I'm going to be delivering it to the front door. These are the different options we have um, but I'll be delivering it to the front door porch. And this guy I like when people do this. He has this little container here. Toss it in that container. All right, just like that, we're done. So I just pulled up to this next um, park point, which is what we call where we park. It's our park point, and from this one, I kind of do the route out of order, but I do it like this so I can do two swings from one spot. So what I'll do is I'll set up. I'll get the mail for the second loop that I'm going to do. I usually put it in the front seat of the vehicle and I'll do the first loop and then I'll come back, open the front door, grab the second and then keep on going. It kind of goes a little faster and you know, work smarter, not harder. So I'm going to set that up real quick and then I'm going to go ahead and knock off this loop here. All right, and just like that, I'm done with those two loops. I usually don't park this recklessly, but because this is an empty lot, like, as you see, it's garbage everywhere, I kind of just kind of park weird here at this stop. Alright, now I'm about to head to this business. How I do this route, I know at roughly this time, because I've eaten breakfast, I'm going to need to use the bathroom. And this route, this business has a bathroom, and it's, it's a pretty clean bathroom. If you don't know mail carriers obviously we don't have bathrooms in our vehicles so either we find gas stations fast food restaurants some businesses have bathrooms some businesses don't have public bathrooms but because they know like we need bathroom breaks you know they'll allow us to use their bathrooms um some bathrooms are better than others there's a lot of sketchy bathrooms so when you have a place that has a nice bathroom on your route you tend to make that you know kind of your bathroom break um, so this next uh, stop that I'm doing here this is a, is a community center type thing um, I'll be using the bathroom so if you ever if you have a business and a carrier asks you to use a bathroom be kind let them use it they need it oh look at who's on my route <laughs> 
left in my vehicle I'm done for the day like greatest feeling ever you do see I have a pile right here it's because I was doing a loop and a dog came out and it was loose and so I had to skip half of the loop so I'll leave a note for the carrier tomorrow um, and let them know why I didn't deliver it you know but other than that everything's I'm done I'm good headed back to the office all right I just get back to the office and before I head back into the office, what I do is throughout the day, I separate all my mail. So this is like bad mail. In layman's terms, um, it would be referred to as junk mail. Um, so I separate that. Then over here, I have like my, this is the stuff going sideways is the first class mail that is like either like maybe a bad name um, they no longer live there the house is vacant so it needs to be forwarded and then the stuff that's standing straight up is stuff that was in my route today that doesn't belong on my route say it's a random street across town so I separate that and what I do is I rubber band all this stuff up so when I head into the office I can just toss the mail where it's supposed to go and basically clock out also I keep a container with my outgoing mail I try to make it easy for myself like I try to sh streamline the process once I get back to the office Center. 